Okay, now if you'll recall, we saved the, the Dyna cube in its own file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click load tool, and there it is, Dyna cube. All right, so this is what we're looking at. This is our Dyna cube, Dyna mesh cube. All right, but with this, of course, this, this is a nice square, but we want something that's gonna be more like a block. So if we look at our block references, um, excluding this, this actually was a, I think it was sheared off from the face of one of them. But if you'll notice the length of these, they're about two to one. Well, not even two to one, really. You can see that this is like two bricks this way, but it's wide in, in that direction. Same with this, this is about two blocks long, but this one's about two blocks tall, all right? In our case, we've got a single polycube. I hit Shift F so we can see it. This is what we're looking uh, at. We do need a second cube uh, in order to make this brick work. So let's go ahead and go to Duplicate. I'm going to click the action line, W, and click and drag a line. I'm going to hit the X key off. And I want to, oops, and we're in perspective. Let's make sure we click the P so we're not in perspective. Now I could have stretched this, this, polygon out. In fact, I might still. Let's go ahead and do that. Because I, I want to make sure that we're at a 2 to 1 ratio. Yeah, we are. Okay, so I'm going to use my arrow key on my keyboard to move up. You can see we're now highlighted. All right, hit Shift F. There we go. And we're going to go for the W. Click drag and I'm going to scale this oops oh I'm sorry we duplicated the top one I'm working. this is the, the bottom one is what we need all right I forgot when you duplicate it goes to the next it goes up it adds the next layer up on top the next sub tool up on top all right so let's go ahead and now scale this outward so that we're pulling it a little bit farther oops right there all right, I can go ahead and dupl delete this one now. Okay, so we have our cube now, our stone block. All right, in fact, I'm going to go ahead, since this is different than what we're dealing with, I'm going to go, go ahead and call this um, stone block underscore zero one. By the way, I do zero one, zero two, zero three, all the way up to, you know, 200 if I need to. You guys can uh, say them as it is. I just find it's an easier... Uh, thing for me to do to, uh, when I'm saving up that way. If I hit Shift F, you can see we still have polygons. They, they're kind of stretchy a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to fix that. What I do want to make sure we do with this block, we're going to use one block that's going to make all of our different blocks. Well, you think, well, okay, you can't do one block to, to make, you know, four different blocks. Yes, you can. You can do that by making sure that whatever you do on this side is completely different than on this side, which is completely different on this side, which is completely different on this side, all right? The idea is to make sure that nothing is symmetrical, that everything has something going on it, and it's different. That way I can copy and paste this block to whatever area I want, simply rotate, flip a side, oh wow, looks like a completely new block. Uh, I'm about working smarter, not working harder, Yes, I could make four different blocks. Yes, I could detail each one of them differently. But why do that when I can take a single block and make all the variations I need from this particular one block? Just remember, all, all six sides on this block will be something completely different. As long as it's completely different and you don't have them lined up the same way and you make sure the different sides are showing against each other, they, they, they'll contrast against each other and look like what they're supposed to. So keep that in mind. Work smart, not hard. All right, so I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes, and, and I suggest you learn this one. I think I emphasized it in the first module, in fact, that one of the best brushes is the clay buildup. I'm going to click and go to clay buildup, right? That's when we can look to, you know, paint on, or as you can see, we'll, we'll sketch stuff in, you know, this is where you build up slowly. Now, right off the bat, as I do this, you can see how pixelated it is. So let's go, let's go ahead and we, we've scaled this out. So we have affected the model. So let's go ahead and go to our uh, geometry tab, 
Dynamesh. Let's crank this up to say, uh, I know I want more than 128. Let's just go 200. And we'll click and drag. Shift F. Oh, yes. Yeah, I got a lot more, lot more polys out of that one. We're now at 136,000 polygons, and that's good. That's, that's fair to start with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the clay brush, the clay buildup brush. I'm going to do a couple different things. I'm going to, oh, and by the way, one of the things, if you start working in this area, for instance, see how it affects the, the backside? Let's make sure we go to our brush, go down to auto masking and back face mask. I think I mentioned that in the first module too. Turn, off, turn that back face mask on. You do not want that on, okay? Anyway, what I want to look to do is if you look at some of this, it's got some, it looks like, especially this one, you can see where it's, it's chiseled. Actually, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. There you go. See all these chiselings and everything? I really like this block a lot. Some of what we're looking to do, we are going to add noise to this block, That's, but we're going to be able to make it, uh, n some areas will be uniform, some won't. Um, but I want to go ahead and look at adding in some of the chisels. So I'm going to hold my Alt key down, and I'm going ahead and chiseling this out a little bit. I do want to make sure I affect every single edge because if I don't, then it's going to, and by the way, right now, as you can see, I do have mirroring on, and that's okay just for now. But I do want to make sure I affect every edge because, uh, remember, these are going to be blocks that are sitting one on top of the other, and I do need to make sure that it looks like, you know, it's not all the same block, and I need to make sure that it, it's going to look like it's uh, at least what you would expect to see for blocks uh, sitting on, uh, upon one another. So they're not all, see if I don't affect this, this edge here, it'll blend in uh, with the block above it and vice versa. So I do need to make sure I affect the edges a little bit. And again, uh, this is very quick, but you know, it gives you the idea of what you can do. All right. So that's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and keep chipping in this a little bit. Now, a lot of times when I'm working on something like this, I do keep a certain flow with this. Right now, I'm just looking to add in some of those uh, chisels. But I am also going to then smooth this out a little bit and then re-chisel some areas. All right. There you go. And let's go ahead and chisel. I, I want to make sure I'm going to hit the X. I do not want to. Um, oops. Well, actually, that's okay because now I can chisel in here, and I'm getting a different look. I actually did some adding in, which is fine. It'll allow me to get a different look there. Okay. So we got some chiseling there. Let's do some chiseling here. Again, I'm just holding the Alt key. You can see that my Z add is on, but if you hold the Alt and keep it down, you will actually be getting the reverse. So instead of adding on, I'm gouging into. All right. So, and again, I'm not I'm not being super deta detailed with this because I I know what we're going to end up looking like with this. So uh, I think it's going to look good when we're done. Again, I'm making sure I'm getting every side. I am kind of going directionally. Uh, most stone workers, when they're working, they do. And I've actually done some stone working before too. I, very fascinating thing. But you do kind of want to get um, kind of chiseling. You, you get into a particular mode and then you um, kind of go in one direction. But I try to alter it a little bit as you can see all in one direction would be a little bit off and stone itself is there you'll find that there are some areas in stone that is harder than in other areas stone isn't uniform so i, I want to make sure that you know some areas might dig in a bit and some might not when we add the noise in on top of all of this this should really make this stand out very nicely all right so there we go. 
you can hear my pen hitting the screen, I think. All right, so something like that. All right, now if I hold my shift and kind of dab in some areas a little bit, you know, we don't want it to look, we don't want some of the lines showing up with the chiseling. We want some of the effect of it, but we don't want necessarily some of the lines themselves showing up from the brush. So I'm now kind of doing a soft smooth on some of this. Okay. It's very soft. I'm not. I'm not pushing down really hard. Uh, I'm using a pen tool, by the way. Uh, if you're. If you're not. If you don't have a pen tool, that's fine. Um, you can do the same thing with a mouse. Uh, you, if you push really hard, you smooth everything out completely, which obviously you don't want to do. I'm tapping. I'm barely tapping on it. I just want to get enough of a variation to show that it's something that it's something that is there and it's been worked. There we go. All right. I like that. That's actually a pretty cool looking um, block. At least we're on the way. Oh, and I forgot to create a layer. Oh, that is another thing. Um, granted, we are going to be looking at this stone, and it's going to look different from all the different sides. I generally create layers. I like to do layers because that way I can blend things, blend effects, etc. Uh, obviously, I got quickly into this. Learn from my mistakes. Learn to to um, create those layers. You don't have to. I just find it's easier because I can go back on things later on. Um, but that's okay. It's not going. It's not going to kill me. But it's generally what I do. All right. Shift R just to take a quick look. Shift R. Yeah, that looks nice and chiselly. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we save this up. Uh, stone block, and we're going to call this number two. Make sure you save your file, and we'll continue.